Are you drinking enough water? No, really, are you drinking enough water? Because today we're gonna look at exactly what water can do for you. And I think you'll be as amazed as I am for what science tells us about plain old H2O and its multiple benefits for our health. So I'm gonna start with a little story because a few years ago, I was about to give a presentation to some senior people at work and I was really nervous, but I also had this crushing headache and it got so bad that just an hour before I was due to start, I was feeling really sick. The pain was just so intense down one side of my head and into the back of my neck. I'd had these kind of headaches before and they were a nightmare to shift. I tried heavy duty painkillers and they just didn't work. So I decided to drink a lot of water because at this point, I just had nowhere else to go. I drank down what must have been about a litre of water in one go. And the chilled water just instantly cooled me down. So I went really quite shivery. And then within, I would say half an hour, you know, it happened really quite quickly, the headache went. And that was it for the rest of the day. And from that point on, I have sworn by water as a first port of call for aches, pains, and minor ailments. And I've been doing some digging and it seems that this belief is supported by science. We are 60% water, and studies suggest that even a small drop of around 2% in our hydration levels can start impacting on how we feel and function. Fatigue and headaches are two of the most common signs of dehydration, so if you're experiencing either of them, and who doesn't from time to time, it makes absolute sense just to knock back a couple of large glasses of water to see if that's enough to perk you up. Research with athletes has shown how dehydration affects their physical performance and leaves them feeling less energized and heavier. You know, that kind of weighty muscle feeling. And it's no different for us. If it's warm weather, we've been exercising or out for a walk, or we've been eating saltier foods or drinking alcohol or just living our usual active lives. Are we drinking enough water? It's commonly recommended that you drink eight, eight ounce or 237 milliliter glasses of water a day. That's known as the eight times eight rule. And it amounts to nearly two liters, but you can also drink too much, which for some people could be about three liters of water a day, depending on your lifestyle and how much you exercise or how hot it is. It's also recommended that you drink water over fizzy drinks or fruit juice because any more than a glass or so a day of those kind of drinks is gonna cause issues for, well, your teeth um, and also add a lot of calories. And so water is the absolute ideal for hydration. I usually start the day by downing at least one large glass of water when I first get up and then another over the first hour of the day. I have a glass of water next to me all day and I just take sips of it, but I'll knock another one back, um, or probably two actually at lunchtime, and then I drink another couple in the evening. And that way I know I'm kind of getting enough. And if you imagine that our cells need the hydration to fully function, then that's how you can begin to see why drinking a lot of water can help your body function at its best. Let's start with mood and brain fog because your brain is around 75% water. So studies have shown that lower hydration levels can start to impact on your cognitive function. Good hydration has been shown to boost your mood, your processing speeds or how long it takes you to do a mental task and also your memory. And it's why um, when people get older and they develop cognitive problems sometimes. It's really important to make sure they're still drinking water and not getting dehydrated because that will only make the problem so much worse. And if you think back to when we were kids, it's not like we were running around with water bottles making sure we were drinking two litres a day and yet, you know, we seem to function fine. But kids are really good at topping up with food and water just whenever they need. They're just kind of listening to their bodies um, knocking back a, t a glass or two really quickly before dashing off to play again. But there's also something about getting older because we need to drink more as we age. And that's because our bodies and our cells are becoming a bit less efficient. Our bodies become less good at regulating our temperature and the amount we sweat to prevent dehydration 
as we get into our later years. So our levels of fluid intake really are extremely, extremely important as we age. And how about sleep? Well, I don't often have sleepless nights these days, or not too many of them, but from time to time, I can struggle to nod off. And often on those nights, I realize I'm feeling like wired. You know, my nervous system feels like it's all fired up. And putting two and two together, I realize it nearly always happens when I've been eating saltier food or uh, drinking alcohol, or if it's just warm. And whenever it happens now, I get up and you guessed it, I sink a couple of large glasses of water and it just seems to work like a charm. You know, then I go straight back to sleep. And that is also supported by science because researchers at Penn State University in the US discovered that people with poorer amounts of sleep had significantly more concentrated urine and were more dehydrated compared to those who regularly slept eight hours a night. All this is like pretty amazing stuff. This is something free and easy we can do to boost our health and well-being. And when I dug deeper into the benefits of staying well hydrated, I also found among them that it supports your joint health too. After all, your joints are cushioned by fluid, which also keeps them lubricated. It's why arthritis sufferers are recommended to drink plenty of water to help manage their symptoms and flare-ups alongside their medication, obviously. Uh, drinking a lot of water helps prevent constipation and it has been shown to support weight loss too, but it's also great for your skin. I wish I could get my sons to drink more water when they're in their teenage years because your skin needs the hydration too. Um, we can pile on moisturizer, but it's better if that comes from within because if our skin cells are hydrated and happy, it helps balance oil production to keep our skin clear and it also helps reduce the signs of aging. Studies show people who drink large amounts of water are less likely to have prominent scars, wrinkles and fine lines and they won't show as many signs of aging as those who don't drink enough water. When it comes to whether to drink bottled or tap water, it's going to depend on where you live and the quality of water in your region. I live in Scotland where we have a plentiful supply of tap water thanks to the amount of rain. But our tap water is also among the best quality in the world. It's tested on average every two minutes. That said, I still use a water filter in our house, which I keep in the fridge because my sons like to drink really chilled water. And I can highly recommend this zero water filter, which according to independent tests, is highly effective at getting rid of major contaminants and purifying your water, as shown on this table on its website. And I'm going to link to uh, the zero water filter I use in the description below so you can look at it in more detail. But it comes with a little testing stick so you can check the contamination levels in your regular tap water and then filter it and compare it with the filtered water. And that way you'll also know when to replace the filter when you see those contamination levels creeping up again. So it's, it's really clever. In a country like the UK, where water quality is usually good, you're gonna get around 150 litres of water from one of these filters. For more contaminated water, you're gonna get less life from that filter, but it is gonna dramatically improve the quality of your tap water and maybe save you buying bottled water. So I wanted to share with you just how amazing the benefits of drinking enough water can be. Do you drink a lot of water or has upping your water intake helped your health? Let me know in the comments because I always love to hear your views and experiences. And if you want to watch more videos and reviews from me on this channel, then don't forget to hit subscribe along with the notification bell. For now, Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.